video, I'm going to be talking about a sleep deprived EEG. I'm Dr. Manmeet Bhatia, a senior neurologist with more than 30 years of experience. So what is a sleep deprived EEG? You may be familiar with the term EEG, which is just the electrical recording of the brain waves by attaching some sensors on the head and getting an adequate duration of about 20 to 30 minutes. The term, the term sleep deprived EEG means that the EEG is done under conditions of sleep deprivation. This ideally is meant to be a full night of no sleep, but if it gets difficult, then we do allow maybe three to four hours of sleep and the individual then comes to the laboratory for, for testing. How does this differ? This, the recording is in a similar manner, but just over an extended period of time so that it allows the brain to be recorded or the activity to be recorded in the awake condition and when you go into sleep and then maybe into different stages of sleep. This transition from the awake to the sleep can induce or increase the chances of detecting the epileptic form or epileptogenic abnormality. So thus a sleep deprived EEG is an activation procedure to increase the yield of getting the abnormality. And it's been seen that it, by various studies that it's almost increases by 10 to 30%. So if an average EEG in all kinds of population of epilepsy, the positivity is about 40 to 50 percent, you can see that it will increase it by another maybe 20, 30 percent. And that's the usefulness of a sleep deprived EEG. Procedure remains the same. Only instructions will be given for the night, how to come to the laboratory, and it will be for a little longer period of time. Thank you so much for your attention.